Hey everybody. So last night I tried to do a YouTube live stream of an unboxing of a whole bunch of new one-of-a-kind Stay Vocal reused t-shirts and long story short it failed miserably. Uh, my internet connection was unstable. I didn't realize it was happening while it was going on. I, I saw some flutterings of the internet but I you know it just kept saying live with the red dot so I was like oh this is fine but I had some people reach out that it was really hard to watch and then when it was all said and done I went back and watched it and it was unbearable so I went and deleted the video whatever but I have all of these shirts and I really want to show people I'm excited about them so this morning I am just gonna sit back with some coffee go through with them Go through them again. It's not going to be a surprise as much as it was for me last night. Um, but it'll be fun. And uh, I'll, I'll try to do it quicker without as many stories. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to sit here. I'm in my holiday spirit. I've got my Boston's hometown throwdown shirt. I've got my melt away snowman Denny's uh, Christmas mug from way back in the day. But yeah, let's let's get right to it. Um, so, um, right, right before we begin, I uh, just want to, again, thank Goodwin Graphics for doing such a great job printing these. You know, I always have special requests for my reused shirts. It's not their norm, but they're really into it and they make, make some great shirts for me. And if you see any of these t-shirts that you would like to purchase, um, just leave a comment and if you're if you're the first one to comment um, then you know you win uh, and then you can also send me a send me an email to mail order at stayvocal.com and let me know which shirt it is um, the size it is color just be as descriptive as possible because there are a lot of them and your mailing address and email address and I'll send you a PayPal invoice and um, all the t-shirts uh, today only, they're $25 flat, including free shipping anywhere in the U.S. If you're outside of the U.S., um, just let me know where and we can figure out that additional shipping amount. And what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, if this is, um, if you're thinking about getting gifts for anybody, my friends at the local post office are telling me that if I can ship it out by December 17th, then we're good. So any orders that come up through December 17th, I will be doing everything I can, uh, having some local help, hopefully, to get these orders out. Um, I think that's it. I'm going to put all the details in the description, too, so I'm kind of repeating all the text, but I just wanted to verbally say that. All right, let's get right to it. Um, this is a men's medium right here. This is a vintage USA made shirt. It's a pretty sweet shirt as is. And it's got some sparkly silver and gold and white print on there. Uh, men's medium. This, this is one of my personal, old personal t-shirts. This is a anti-flag Steelers logo. And I made it a sleeveless tee because we had these on Warp Tour and it was pretty hot. But uh, yeah, looks pretty good. And on the back, Pittsburgh Punk Rock because that's what Anti-Flag is all about. <clears throat> Alright, my Jersey fans out there. Jersey dwellers. This is a men's small New Jersey state tee. It's the state shape with a whole bunch of different places on the map. Uh, and this is the first of a whole slew of shirts I got from my friends at the Woods Hole Film Festival. My documentary, Reused Because You Can't Recycle a Planet, screened there a couple of years ago now, well, a year and a half ago, May, and they had all these leftover shirts from years past, so my friend Lillian the organization got me those and ended up making some cool shirts. Um, this is a men's extra large red, clearly. One good thing about this 
Uh, I'm trying to find silver linings after such a debacle last night. The one good thing is the my phone camera here is way better than the, the webcam on my laptop. So, um, this is a Thrice t-shirt, if anybody's a fan of that band. This is a band that I toured with a couple of times, and I found this at a thrift store, so I knew I had to do it. Um, this is a men's medium, but runs more like a small, because I'm a, I'm a men's medium, and it's a little small on me. And then the back has their record label at the time subsidy records but yeah pretty cool looking thrice shirt um this is another shirt i got from my friends in woods hole film festival this is the company that prints their t-shirts so they have all of these test prints where they you know just take a blank shirt and put all these crazy logos as they're printing and um, in, instead of just, you know, discarding it, they put as many prints as they can, and then they ended up getting me some, and this is one of a few in here, and then I just slapped the big old reused print on there. This is a men's medium, my size, so if you're into crazy, one-of-a-kind shirts, this is, this is your jam. Uh, here's another vintage as-is shirt. I, I, this batch had a whole bunch of shirts from my eBay store that just sat, you know, for quite a while, didn't sell, and I didn't originally want to print on them, but, you know, they weren't selling, so I thought I'd give it a shot. This is a vintage New Orleans. It's like a, a jester, you know, with the, the belled collar there, and looks pretty awesome. Total Mardi Gras style shirt, and then the, the light blue print we chose this time actually looks pretty good. There's some light blue in there. This is a men's large and, yeah, USA made jerseys t-shirt from the 90s. <clears throat> Here's another. Pretty much the same, just different, different design. So it's another New Orleans shirt that I had found. It's a pink one. Um, let's see it right there. French Quarter. And this is, uh, this is a um, Jersey's USA made shirt as well. And uh, this is an XL, but this has like the nice, soft, vintage feel to it. It's definitely been worn and loved, but has plenty of life left. Um, all right, all you Arrested Development fans out there, you're going to recognize this design from Arrested Development, Blue's Frozen Banana. Yeah, it looks, <laughs> looks pretty awesome right there. Um, this is a men's XL. Take a sip of coffee. Hope everybody's enjoying some good caffeine this morning. I don't know when you'll actually watch this, but I'm filming it right now about 9.15 in the morning. <laughs> um, another Woods Hole Film Festival shirt. This one's kind of like a light aqua teal. This is their, what year is it? Oh, it's the 20th anniversary, 2011 Woods Hole Film Festival. So if that's correct, I was part of their 29th film festival. May of 2019. Pretty cool. This is a men's large. <clears throat> This is uh, the first of a couple cool anchor logo tees. I think being in a coastal state, you know, you see a lot of like sea anchor, different type things. This is this anchor, interestingly enough, has like very southwestern Arizona, New Mexico style print in it. This is a women's small V neck. Oh, again, this shirt, just like last night when I saw it again, uh, makes me homesick for my, my state that I love. This is a San Francisco shirt. Pretty awesome shot of the Golden Gate Bridge. And then San Francisco, and it's all like super sparkly. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, 
I love finding these kind of shirts where the reused print is just going to be a great window to a scene. Um, it's a woman's medium. And, and for anybody, you know, who's not totally familiar with what I do, so Stay Vocal is a reuse apparel brand. So instead of printing on, res on brand new garments, I get rescued garments. So half of them come from thrift stores and donations. And then the other half are brand new shirts that were going to be discarded or destroyed from companies that go out of business, bands that break up. And it's, it's just crazy what's out there. Um, but these, all these shirts, so when I am at thrift stores, I find a lot of weird, wacky shirts that maybe I can't put a regular Stay Vocal print on there. So I just want to make, you know, all these unique one-of-a-kind shirts. And my goal is to just kind of see how many of these one-of-a-kind shirts, because there's t-shirts for everything. And every time I do these, I'm like, why does this exist in the first place? But, you know... I would so much rather sell these and have these been be worn than make more new shirts and put, you know, more resources out there. So, um, all right. This is a uh, Element Skateboard shirt. Looks pretty good there. This is a um, Men's Small. <clears throat> ah, yes. Anybody seen that movie, Mr. Fox? This is like, I don't know. Imagine that movie combined with Spike Lee as Mars Blackman in the old Nike Michael Jordan commercials from the 80s and 90s. <laughs> um, this is a men's large. Pretty cool looking. Okay, another Woods Hole Film Festival, the 24th annual Woods Hole Film Festival. Pretty cool looking. It's got the movie reel with a bunch of fish swimming there. Um, ladies medium, it says. It's about a ladies medium. All brands, man, they have their unique sizing. And, you know, I just wish there was uniform sizing out there. It's like a running, running problem I've run into for... 20 years um this is another woods hole film festival shirt this one i think this is my favorite of all the different ones it's like a drive-in movie theater scene but if you look close it's actually like crabs and lobsters and different things in cars watching the drive-in um looks pretty great it's a men's double extra large Okay, yes. <laughs> Some shirts just look super, super awesome. Here we have the Hellraiser shirt with Pinhead. A little late for Halloween, but never too late for a good horror movie. Uh, this is Men's Large. Oh, man. That would be so cool if I could find a whole whole slew with like freddy jason all the different guys from the movies in the 80s that's awesome um this is my friend mark mata the guitarist for the band totem this was his short-lived ice cream company Outlaw Ice Cream. I believe they were based in Kingston, Mass. And he had some leftover shirts that he donated. And, um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. And if you can see, the ice cream has, like, a little little smirk on there. And it says, Wanted Outlaw Ice Cream. So, if you're an ice cream fan, this is good. Uh, it's a men's large. Um, okay, we got another one of those. Wacky one of a kind all over print shirts coming up here. Oh man, lots of good colors on this one. So there's blacks and yellows and whites and wings. There's a duck there and some 
octopus and an owl and oh man and then the the big old reuse print right there um this is a men's large <clears throat> Here we have another anchor shirt, continuing with the aquatic theme. Just a big old white distressed looking anchor. Um, this is a woman's small. It's a little big for a woman's small. And it's a it's a very loose like scoop neck style shirt, but looks pretty good. This one I had been saving for a while. Had to be the right color. I couldn't do a white print on it because the white would just blend in too much. But yes, Selena came out pretty, pretty awesome. I honestly don't know much about her music. I just know that she lived too short of a life. Um, and it is a women's small. Runs a little small, more like a junior style shirt, but looks pretty great. <clears throat> some more aquatic themed shirt so this was um forget where i got this one but uh race to save a species 2014 so it's got some got some whales there swimming off cape cod i probably got it from the woods hole film festival actually thank you lillian again i'm gonna keep thanking her but uh yeah these this is on the back there and that's that's the tough thing with like race shirts is you know like they put all of these sponsors all over the back and it makes it a little little crazy like it's kind of weird that i have this shirt with dunkin donuts on there but um yeah i just so whenever i'm whenever i'm talking to people about doing race shirts i'm like why not do like patches or you know like I don't know it just seems crazy to make a shirt for every single race and have every logo of the sponsors oh yeah yeah here we go for the fellow alonzo morning and patrick ewing and alan iverson fans out there it's a georgetown shirt looks pretty good um so women's medium All right, this one is one of the last that I have of its kind. Um, so I'll try to make it a short story. My friend Micah in California ran a clothing company called Restored Clothing Company. Now it kind of sounds like he might be doing what I'm doing, but his whole thing was restoring the community. So a portion of his sales would go to benefiting different nonprofits in the area. And when I lived in Chico, he and I collaborated, did a shirt together to benefit a nonprofit's organization. And um, yeah, when when his brand went out of business, he asked me if I wanted to get all of the shirts. And we had such like-minded designs. I was like, yep. So this you can see right here says, I am not just a number. And it's a person holding the flower there and then restored clothing company. It looks pretty great. It's a women's extra large. <clears throat> Any volleyball fans or players out there? Um, it's a different kind of a SWAT team. Pretty neat. Uh, it's a women's medium. <clears throat> tough thing about these old school denny's mugs is they're kind of small they don't hold as much coffee as i'd like um ah yes this is one of a couple ohio shirts that i have here so this is the state shape of ohio with lots of different cities and landmarks different things you'll find in ohio and another state that i miss traveling to many good times oh cincinnati right there hello brian and kim and family 
I'll be back. Spent some good times in Cincinnati in 2018 for sure. All right. Maybe somebody wants to let me know if in fact that says Pikachu or does it say Pokemon in a different language? But uh, yeah, it's clearly Pikachu. It's, it is an official Pokemon shirt. Um, this is a women's small. Looks pretty awesome there with the light blue. Yeah, so I chose light blue this time for the print because I've done white so many times. I just wanted to change it up and I was looking at the one of a kinds that I was going to make and I was like, what color is a running theme and makes sense with the brand? And I thought light blue worked. Hopefully you agree. <laughs> um, Disney fans, I know there's a lot out there. Here we have a Tinkerbell shirt with a whole bunch of things written in the background there. It's it's kind of cool. She's got her wand and sparking the recycle there. It's, um, it says L1012, but I'm, you know, I'm going to take that as a girl's large. But 1012 usually means youth medium, so... Yeah, this is probably like girls medium. <laughs> Let's go for that. And if you, if you have any specific questions on measurements, feel free to ask because any of these shirts that don't sell right now, I am going to be listing them on my website soon and putting up the measurements. I'm just trying to trying to offer them all now to expedite and save myself some time from uh, listing and all that kind of stuff. And it's a lot of fun, especially when the live stream goes correctly, which it did not last night, but it's all good. All right. This is a heart made out of a whole bunch of different designs here. I see a peace sign. I see the word peace. I see hearts and love and stars and cool things. And then just the light blue reuse over it. Um, so... This is a girl's large. This is um, one of the many shirts, I believe, yes, that I got from my friend Jenna. She donated a whole bunch of shirts, which was awesome. This one is a Maui shirt. Uh, it's a woman's small. The blue on blue looks pretty sweet, too. Thank you, Jenna. <clears throat> this one's a fun one if you have any young girls that like horses so horses and a whole bunch of different colors and some hearts or a heart shall i say the blue looks pretty awesome on the purple too it's like 90s charlotte hornets charlotte's charlotte not plural city. <laughs> um, this is a youth large. It's it's a bit of a traditional girls cut, but you know, dudes could totally wear this, no problem. Mm. Oh yes. If only I was smaller. Look at this. It's the cat party. Look at all those cats. All oh, the cats. They're psyched. Um, this is a youth large. I like that the light, the, uh, light blue logo is kind of subtle in there too. It's like, this shirt is all about the cats. Oh wait, it's also about reuse. Alright. What do we got here? Oh yeah. Another, another location. Lots of location shirts in this batch. I decided to change it up a bit because I usually do a lot of like pop culture designs and everything, but I know that I have customers and friends and family all over the country and world, so figure make some shirts for them. This is an Albuquerque shirt, and there's some flowers that go right up to the neck print. Pretty neat. Um, this is a it says medium, but that is definitely like 
a girl's medium because that'd be a belly shirt, I think, on a woman's medium. <clears throat> Another location shirt. I love the style of this one too. It's like, and the the blueprint looks pretty great with it. This is a Ocean City, Maryland shirt, and it's a lighthouse design. Um, youth medium. Maybe I should show the tag. You think I should show the tag? I can do that. That's a good idea. Assuming they're all there, because that's one tough thing is sometimes these shirts don't have the tags. So here's another crazy test print shirt turned one of a kind. The front and the back multiple octopuses all over it different logos uh there's some black labs on there there's the octopus um what size we got here youth medium oh yes this this one i just love the wording and it the, the two slogans go go hand in hand so it is a smaller long sleeve shirt and if you look close do something positive reuse because you can't recycle the planet so those those just work so well together i think the tag on this is down here all oh, right this is the one that does not have the size on it so knowing my shirts we're gonna call this Girls medium, women's extra small. Let's call it that. Uh, uh, anybody else like to wear Chuck Taylors? I have a whole bunch of pairs. Boom. This is a uh, youth medium right there. Okay, another another location shirt, another another donation from Jenna. Thank you again. Um, this is a youth medium, and it's an Alaska shirt with a bunch of dragonflies. That's the tag. So I like to I like to vary it up, you know, because some people like a the crazy all over prints and huge prints but some like the the subtle ones like that and like this one this is another you know pretty subtle one it's it's more about the reuse slogan but then if you look close it's got jupiter florida and the flip-flops um say youth large All right, now this is, is this the last? Oh yeah, so this is the last one of the light blue bunch, the reused shirts. This is a shirt I had for a long time. Couldn't figure out what to do with it because the print was so big, but I thought that was cool. So it's an I Heart Aruba shirt. I'm sure there's a lot of people missing going to islands these days. Um, it's a women's medium V-neck. looks pretty good all right so this next batch there's some shirts that i printed myself and then there's also some one-of-a-kind shirts that are um from some of the state series that i did uh okay so this is one i did myself all the all the green prints are the ones that i did myself but this one's pretty great it is like a wide mouth bass jumping out of the water no fishing reel or hook there so that's good he's safe um this is a adult large it says but okay men and women are different people so this this is a men's large uh it's like a tan color if that's hard to tell but i love the the dark green with the grass in the background looks pretty good <clears throat> Oh, yes. Oh, this was, 
I was telling this story last night in the live stream, and I'm going to tell it again. So I was very excited to print this. I used to love Lucky Charms. Oh, look at that. It looks so awesome. It's a, uh, it's a men's medium, too. It's my size. So it's very, very tempting. But I got enough shirts for now. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'm wearing this as many times as I can in December. I'm trying to really slim my own collection down. But, um, oh, yeah. So, Lucky Charm. So, in 2000, when I went vegetarian, I didn't know about gelatin. And then when I learned about gelatin, that it's made with cow hooves, I was like, oh, no. I can't have Lucky Charms anymore because of the marshmallows. So, I took a picture of me eating my last bowl of Lucky Charms. Um, at some point I gotta dig that out and post it online somewhere because uh, one day somebody's gonna make a lot of money on Lucky Charms that are vegan just for me. Hope it exists. Um, Alright, here's another crazy all over test print one of a kind lots of colors on this one we've got golds and whites and blues um you know, horseshoe crabs trees all different things um and this is a what do we got here it's a men's small <clears throat> this is a um when I did my California series of shirts recently, when I did the reprint, I did some one-of-a-kinds. This is one. So this is a Magic the Gathering design. I'm not too familiar with the game. Should I say I'm not familiar at all with the game, but the tag says Magic the Gathering. So I, that's how I knew. But uh, I'm not sure if this is a card or a feature on one of the cards i am not sure maybe somebody can tell me in a comment that would be awesome i'd like to know this is a, a men's medium let's see what's the what's the brand the tag oh <laughs> yes uh another reused california state shape shirt this is a <laughs> the fifth annual Thanksgiving girls hockey tournament. So we have a turkey playing hockey, and then we have reuse California over that. And then I chose that because I really like the the yellow of the print over the yellow that was already there. Looks pretty fun. Um, it is a men's small. Maybe maybe my friend Jasmine who played college hockey be into that shirt. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I should like send it to her as a surprise. Or Jasmine, are you watching? Would you like this? Um. And here is the uh the one that I did. I just recently printed the reused Pennsylvania design with the Keystone. I can't believe it took me that long to make a Pennsylvania themed shirt since I lived there. And that's where I got my start with Stay Vocal. When I worked for Anti Flag, I started Stay Vocal in Pittsburgh. And I, I, yeah, crazy. Anyhow, I have it now. I've got the Pennsylvania theme shirt with the Keystone. And then this one, if you look close, it's got this like, it was some college fest. And there was like this black print. But, you know, if anybody knows anything about Pittsburgh, they love their black and yellow. From the Steelers to the Penguins to the Pirates. Looks pretty great. This is a men's small. Okay, so in addition to, let me pour this coffee, in addition to the reuse prints, I decided to do a special reprint of a design and a whole second batch of one-of-a-kind shirts. And as I'm sitting here drinking coffee, it only makes sense that I'm talking about this. I don't know. I'm rambling now. I haven't had enough coffee yet, maybe. That's it. But, um, yeah, I'm really, 
really excited to have brought this design back and going back to Pittsburgh. Um, this design originally came from Pittsburgh. A friend of mine did a whole series on coffee stains for an art project and I was like, oh, can we, you know, collaborate and do some kind of stay vocal design or whatever? Because I loved the concept of, you know, staining shirts. So anyway, I'm, r I'm rambling now. Look at that. You know, a lot of people will like spill coffee on their shirt and be like, oh, my shirt's ruined. So I thought I'd make a design that was like blatantly like coffee stains. So when I was doing this batch, I was like, I want to do a whole bunch of one of a kind coffee stain shirts. Bring that design back that's been sitting for so long. So this is a, um, it's just a, just a pattern shirt. So nothing, nothing like crazy print wise, but the pattern I thought was really cool. This is a women's, is it going to tell me? Is the tag there? Yep. It's a women's small and it's got a scoop neck. So it's super thin, burnout style. This one's great because it really shows you the Coffee Stains logo. So reuse there. All right, this one's pretty funny. This is a, another slightly more successful worldwide brand. <laughs> a johnny cupcake shirt so coffee and cupcakes right there look at that pretty pretty awesome this is a women's small wow the tag is ripped but i know where this came from so it's a woman's small looks pretty pretty cool yeah we ha we have a bunch of mutual friends johnny and i because he's just from a few towns over but we've never met it'd be cool to collaborate someday come from very similar backgrounds music and t-shirts of course um this have a georgia bulldogs shirt it's like a red tie-dye and then the the font on there has all sorts of sparkles it's like bedazzled slightly um it is a women's large it's one thing i actually like to say to people what are you going to do today i'm going to do rad stuff <laughs> so i saw this shirt and you know reusing is doing some rad stuff saying vocals some rad stuff drinking coffee is some rad stuff so looks pretty cool on there this is a women's small Ah, another anchor shirt. And it says, what does it say? Oh yeah, lovely seas. I love the way the coffee stains look. Uh, so, woman's small. So the coffee stains, yeah, this is one of the oldest stay vocal reuse shirts that I did like before I converted the brand to strictly reuse t-shirts in 2008 I had released this shirt in I don't know like 2005 because reuse was just like a small component of the brand and so I started making all of these coffee stain shirts and people were really into it and then I don't know I just I wanted to retire the design like 10 years ago I don't know why Cause it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. And it's just like, to me, it's kind of like an iconic stay vocal design. And yeah, it's pretty great. Um, all right. Woo. Muppets fans. Kermit shirt. And it says green before green was cool. Um, it's a women's medium. And this is weird. It's a Hallmark t-shirt. Hallmark. Yeah. Greeting cards. Like everybody's got to make t-shirts that's the thing it's like people just think about t-shirts as this like disposable no problem oh whatever just make t-shirts make make let's make t-shirts no problem grandma's 80th birthday let's make t-shirts but take 713 gallons of water to make 
one shirt. Like, that is so much water. I, I read a crazy statistic the other day and, like, further emphasized the importance of what I do is of the 3% of water on the planet that is fresh water that we can drink because the rest is ocean water only about one percent of that is available because the rest is like buried under ice caps or so far down that they could never drill it out so there's like one percent of water on the planet and of that there let's just make t-shirts with it like there's so many t-shirts out there already so that's that's what i'm doing i'm i'm not gonna ramble let's let's have some fun here uh <laughs> this is a another woods hole film festival shirt and this is just like a perfect example it's like oh here i am at the coffee shop just wearing my nice woods hole film festival shirt oops drop some coffee on it well let's make it let's make it awesome so it's pretty good it's a pretty simple design but looks great it's a uh men's small <clears throat> Ah, this is a Tucson, Arizona shirt, and you can see the tag here. It's it's crazy. Uh, this is a woman's medium, ladies medium, as it says. Crazy how many shirts I find at thrift stores with the tags. You know, whether they're gifts or things people buy and then decide not to wear. I I don't know. I I don't know when it comes to purchasing anything for me I like to think deeply about what I'm what I'm gonna buy and you know am I gonna actually use it or wear it and it's, it's so crazy um this one this one it could be my favorite in this whole batch I'm not sure I think I don't know it might be so this is a food fight long sleeve and if you look at it it is a pizza piece of pizza with a spatula against a hamburger with a pizza cutter so they have the weapons that will defeat the other guy um this is a xl so it's a youth xl so if you have a kid this is pretty awesome i would be stoked to see some kid wearing this you know because then you got the coffee stains so it's like coffee burgers and pizza oh man it's so good and i mean food fight you know, throwing coffee on a shirt just makes sense. <clears throat> this is the second Ohio shirt. The Buckeye State. That one looks pretty great. It's a big old print to begin with. And then the Coffee Stains logo just goes on it. It's a ladies medium. Here is the, I'm not so sure if this was a Billy Idol <laughs> bootleg shirt or what is it, but it says Rebel Rebel. The Stay Vogel logo. It's a women's extra small. <clears throat> this, I remember, came from my friend Dana, fellow plant eater. This is a vegan definition shirt. Pretty cool. It's a women's large. If anybody can tell me where the Tri-City Valley cats are from, I would like to know. Um... Tri-City Valley Cats, Baseball Club, 2012, I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't remember where this came from, what city I was in, whatever. But um, this is a men's XL right there. But looks pretty great. I like the way the green and the brown looks. That's a good color combo. Oh, this one's, this one's awesome. This is a, uh, <clears throat> for my little skateboard dudes out there, it's a Go Skateboarding Day shirt, and it was designed by Ed Templeton, professional skateboarder. Looks pretty great. 
Um, it is a, holy crap, that's right, uh, extra small, so youth, you can barely see it because of the print, but um, it is a youth extra small, pretty crazy design to begin with because that's what Ed Templeton's style is, and then my print is over that. Here's a pretty, uh, pretty sweet color combo, another brand new pre-owned shirt, just a some light blues on the flowers. And then the brown over it looks looks pretty great. Um, it is a, let's see it there. No, you can't, that is so blurry. Uh, women's small. This is the first color of a few similar shirts that I did. I got, like I was saying, I got a bunch of shirts from my friends in Falmouth at the Woods Hole Film Festival. And this is a Cape Cod sailboat shirt. And this one's navy blue. Pretty good color combo. It's a youth medium. And then, following that right up, here is a, like, dark print or excuse me dark pink version of the same same design and this is a youth large let's see if i can grab the other colors ah yes here we go so <clears throat> here's a light pink version of the shirt the sailboats it's a youth medium and then i think this is the the last one of the cape cod sailboats but it is the light blue version um youth medium okay back to shirts that my pittsburgh friends will love this one is just like perfect timing i hope somebody picks this up this week so they can wear it I can see a photo. It is a Pittsburgh football themed holiday sweater style t-shirt. <laughs> so you can see that there. Looks like the ugly sweater. And it's all in yellow and white print on a black t-shirt. It's a men's large. This one's pretty hilarious. Shirt that my sister, the dental hygienist, will appreciate. Go to the dentist! Uh, and if you look close, see if I can get the angle right with the lighting. It is a skull with terrible teeth and says, go to the dentist. And then it's some, like, random doctor's name and phone number. I don't see a lot of a lot of dentist shirts out there, that's for sure. So this was an interesting find. Oh, um, I apologize. It's a men's small. <clears throat> One of the smallest shirts in the collection here. This is a Tahiti shirt. Let's see right there flowers and so oh this is another shirt without without a size yep great okay no size on this one so we're gonna go for like girls medium i would say maybe women's extra small around the same there it's pretty pretty tiny um here is another woods hole film festival shirt just a pretty standard standard design in the middle there. It's some uh, some clouds and then like a film strip. This is from the 23rd annual Woods Hole Film Festival. Uh, men's large. One of a few band t-shirts that I have in here. This is a good one. 21 pilots. I 
I'm sure there's some fans out there watching this. This came out pretty good. It's a, um, it's hard to tell the tag is, tag is torn here, but it is a men's, men's medium. Design looks pretty good on there. This is another one of my favorites. I love huge animal prints. I had this shirt for a while, but being short, I couldn't put the reused print on there. So finally was able to do it. This is like a women's crop top style, super thin, super loose, um, forever 21 women's medium. But look at that. Look at the tiger with the coffee stains. This looks pretty awesome. All right. Oh yeah, I got confused again again last night I did when I first opened these. So this came from my friend Jess Sullivan. I believe one of our family members was on a swim team. This is the Cumberland Aquatic Swim Team. Swim Rhode Island. Um she's from from the Rhode Island area. Uh fellow tiny house builder and um eco activist has done a lot of great things ran two little buns anyway um this is a shirt she donated and you can see there it's a uh rooster hanging out ready to go swimming and what's cool about this shirt is it's super old it's a screen stars men's large but screen stars was a super popular brand in the 80s and 90s for printing now you know kind of highly sought after it's a nice vintage shirt. <clears throat> Dare to keep Alex off coffee. Um, so this is a Hingham, Massachusetts Dare University shirt. Came from a family member. That that looks pretty great. This is a C men's small. <clears throat> Another location shirt. Uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Forgot for a second. That one looks pretty good. Like it. Um, this is a men's small. Oh, the location shirts keep coming. Here's Texas shirt. And this one, woman's medium. And a Las Vegas shirt with the tag, so never worn, pre-owned, Las Vegas. Um, Zay. Ladies small is what the tag says. basketball fans and Shannon my friend from Detroit will appreciate this Blake Griffin welcome to Detroit pretty cool so Pistons that dude can dunk uh, this is a men's extra large <clears throat> Another pre-owned with the tag shirts. I have a lot of shirts with tags. Um, I think they came from a specific person who just got a bunch of gifts from people, never wore the shirts. And, ah, crazy. Um, this is a light green uh, Washington, D.C. National Zoo. And there's a panda hanging on the tree there. So I'm not such a, such a huge fan of the zoos. I like to see the animals, you know their natural habitats and but um like you know didn't want this shirt to go to waste brand new so i um gave it a second life put some coffee on there uh 
Here's another test print from the screen printing company in Falmouth, Mass. This is uh, just some whites and blues and all sorts of colors on there. Totally random. There's the Coffee Stains logo. Oh, and there's some red right there. Yep, this is a... See it there, women's small. Here's the shirt that I totally think looks like a package of Marlboro. Think about that for a second. <laughs> but it's not. It's a Jackson Hole, Wyoming shirt. It's actually a pretty awesome design there. Just that traditional Wyoming cowboy. Um, it is a women's medium I guess I should just say it say it once more um, while we're getting towards the end if anybody is interested in any of these shirts they are all $25 free US shipping um, if you're interested in any, just leave a comment and or message mail order at stayvocal.com. Let me know which shirt, the size, describe it, um, what your mailing address is and what your email address is. And I will send you a PayPal invoice. And if, um, if you're outside of the U.S., just let me know where and I can tack on the additional shipping. But, uh, oh, and, and, um. If you're interested in getting these as a gift with the holidays coming up, I will be shipping through December 3rd, 17th, excuse me, that is, that's the day that, you know, the local post office say is like kind of the cutoff day to get there before Christmas. So anyhow, um, here's a uh, Montreal. Looks pretty good. Um, this one's a men's small it's like a nice i like the actual shirt too it's like a nice charcoal-ish blue navy blue style <clears throat> for the uh super smart lacrosse players out there here's your harvard lacrosse shirt with the coffee stains logo there are some great coffee shops near harvard i will tell you that i actually went to the oldest coffee shop in boston i believe it is and it's like super low ceilings and in, in this basement area down the street from harvard and oh i miss coffee shops um it is a men's medium uh, another one from my personal collection this was a gift from my friend Lisa years ago. She went on a trip to Vietnam and brought home this shirt to, to me because she knew I collected shirts at the time and just ran a little small. It's a, um, it says it's a men's medium, but definitely fits more like a men's small. Um, so straight from Vietnam. <clears throat> uh, if anybody notice last month i released the i see change change planter shirts this is another one of those with a different print on there so it says i see change and then it's got the coffee stains logo and really like the way pink and brown looks i think mary lou from mary lou's news in massachusetts knew what she was doing with the branding and all those pink stores <laughs> um it's a women's large. Here's another shirt that I took out of my eBay store. It just, just didn't sell. It's a pretty awesome vintage shirt. USA made. Chicago design. Um, it is a men's large. And you can see in the background there, it just says, Illinois, 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 Illinois. Uh, pretty cool. Amanda or Peter Host, if you're watching, maybe you're interested and so, know somebody that wants it. Oh, my good friend from Chicago. Ah, 
randomly or did I no I didn't do that on purpose but uh speaking of Chicago Rise Against a great band hailing from Chicago this is their Suffer in the Witness album shirt uh did a few tours with those guys um they opened up uh for anti-flag before you know like when was that oh three and oh four and then my last official tour that i did merch for anti-flag was billy talent rise against an anti-flag in canada and uh those are some some good dudes and it's so awesome to see that they have done so well for themselves um this is a men's small oh really like the way that looks i'm glad this is not my size because i would be very tempted <clears throat> and speaking of bands this is from my good friend jeff railsback that i know from working with anti-flag this is one of his old shirts that he donated this is it says working class hero and what's cool is that the letters are like iron on puffy print right there it's in black um, this is a men's small, but looks pretty great. All this, you know, staring at all of these shirts with coffee. I just wish I had made more than one cup worth, but I was saving it. So when I upload it and post this, I can have some more. That's how my brain works. Brain on coffee. Another location shirt. Somewhere I have never been, Istanbul. As soon as I think of Istanbul, anybody else think of Bald Bull from Mike Tyson's Punch-Out on Nintendo? As soon as I hear Istanbul or Turkey, that's where my brain goes. I don't know. With his... <laughs> um, look at that. That's pretty great. Um, this is a men's double XL. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's it's a little small for a traditional US men's double XL. This is actually made in Turkey. Um so I would go for this as being a men's XL just to play it safe. <clears throat> some more pink with some brown coffee stains and another Wyoming shirt. Wyoming Cowboys with the small little cowboy there. This is a What do we got here? Where are you size? XL <clears throat> This shirt is so great. I had this shirt Somewhere in the range of 5 to 15 years, it's been sitting in a bin marked Blend In. I had all these Blend In shirts because that's what I originally called the cover-ups. And I was like, I need to do a coffee-themed design with this shirt. I can't just put a regular reuse print on this. It's just too good. This is a totally vintage from the late 80s, early 90s shirt. I mean, come on. It's Garfield is their life before coffee. And he's just sitting there lying on the ground waiting for his coffee. Probably with a stomach full of lasagna. It is a men's XL. It's a nice, nice thin feel to it. It's a little short for a traditional men's XL. Um, but it's definitely got that wide look. My guess is... This would be a style that a younger woman would want just because this is the style now, the big baggy shirts and this, oh man, this is pretty killer. Um, where did I get these shirts? Oh, I got, I got these, I think I got these from my friend Micah in California, actually. Um, it is a baseball style tee the three quarter sleeves and it says blast from the past and it's got the old school vintage cars on there um it is a 
men's XL, but for anybody who's ever worn a baseball shirt, it's like, get a size bigger. Like, I will always wear a men's large in the baseball shirts because the sleeves run a little weird. So I would call this more of a, a men's large to play it safe. I know way too much about t-shirts. It's weird. All right. Baseball fans, are you ready? This is good. Another shirt that came out of my vintage store. I can't believe this did not sell as is because it's brand new with the tags. I found it at a thrift store in Virginia. And I mean, it's not like this dude is not popular, but I was like, whatever, I'm going for it. So first ever Cal Ripken, stay vocal shirt. <laughs> so there's Cal Ripken with like the brown dirt and bats behind him and then the stay vocal logo. And this is, this must be either when he retired or got inducted into the Hall of Fame, I'm not exactly sure, but it says thank you for the memories and it's 2001. Yeah, I guess that was B when he retired because he played that long. Um, but yeah, still with the tags. Again, crazy. Uh, men's XL. Oh, that is, that is pretty great. All right. So, Brandy Massey. West Virginia, this shirt's for you. This is a West Virginia Floods 2016 shirt. Uh, Brandy is the uh, woman who was my West Virginia feature in the reused documentary. Pretty great lady. I've stayed with her a couple times passing through. So, pretty cool. Men's extra large. <clears throat> And speaking of the reused documentary, actually, this is um, a Thayer plumbing and heating shirt. And Thayer is the last name of Christine, who is the Attic Fanatic, a.k.a. the Massachusetts feature in the reused documentary. But this is her husband Mike's uh, plumbing and heating company shirt. Pretty great. He gave me gave me a bunch of these leftover shirts that he had. Um and this is a men's X or excuse me, men's large right there. There's his logo. Looks pretty cool. Um, and Mike is the guy who put the plumbing inside the reused box truck tiny house over there to have running water, which is great. Thank you again, Mike. Really appreciate that. Um, all right, this shirt. I think my mom got me this shirt in high school when I graduated or at some point and I thought it was super lame but I wore it around for like painting around the house or if I had to like do you know work construction with my uncle or whatever and then I ended up wearing it like as a joke in the 2000s on tour with anti-flag so <laughs> here it is it says, when I grow up, I want to be. And as you can see, there's like a whole bunch of like pain, paint and stains and like all different marks on there. Um, but look at this. It's like, I want to be a lawyer or a, what is that one? Garbage collector or a football player or a judge. But when I was on tour with anti like I wrote, a merch guy. So, so I wore this quite a bit, but I don't know. I didn't want to just like discard this. It has so much history. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully somebody out there will appreciate this. Maybe somebody wants to like give this to somebody who's graduating as a present, but it's got the, got the coffee stains logo on there. looks pretty great. It's a, um, a men's, Men's large. Um, wow. So if you're like, you know, if you're a painter, an artist, do construction, like, shirt doesn't have to be pretty. It's still pretty cool, and it's definitely one of a kind. Um, speaking of high school graduating, this is from somebody I graduated high school with, actually. This is um, 
My friend Nate Quinn that I went to high school with gave me a bunch of shirts. He likes what I do and had some shirts and said, make some crazy one of a kinds with this, Alex. So I did. So this is a Fear Nuttin' Band shirt. Um, it's a men's large. I really like the way the, the dark green and the brown and the yellow all work together on there. It's a men's large. All right, this is the... Yes, last. This is the last, but in the, the live break video last night, this was the first <laughs> of the shirts, but I, I'm actually glad this is last. This is a pretty, pretty awesome one. Perfect way to end the one of a kinds. Cookie Monster, straight out of Cookies shirt. Cookies and coffee. Look at that. Does he actually... Oh no, he's got a jar. It's like an empty, empty cookie jar. That's that's what it is. Well, all the crumbs there. I thought he had a coffee cup in hand. That would be too perfect. Um, this is a men's large official Sesame Street shirt, but that is pretty great. Um, so uh, real quick, in addition to all of the one of, one of a kinds, I made two special batches of the different designs. So. I'll be getting these up soon. I made a whole bunch of coffee stains, crew neck sweatshirts, some green ones and some uh, like blue ones. So those are cool. Um, I also made, um, speaking of the, the sweatshirts, I had these. I finally printed on a couple of these. These are like crop top women's crew neck sweatshirts in like a burnt orange and i don't know the, the coffee stains logo looks pretty pretty good on those so these will be going up soon and i also made with the light blue reused print because i can't just have that print ready to go without making some more things so here's uh i made a whole bunch of just white long sleeve t-shirts with that print on there if you're interested in any of these um you know just just let me know right now but these will be going up soon but if you wanted to get any of these before i list them uh what are these normally going to be all of these the sweatshirts will be 30 uh plus shipping and then the t-shirts or the long sleeve shirts are going to be 23 i think and and i will honor honor the free shipping on all of these as well so if you wanted to get any of these just just let me know um i have no problem doing that right now especially after the debacle last night i feel like i owe a lot of people an apology somehow <laughs> it was such a mess but thank you all for bearing with me um and again if you're interested in any of these unique one-of-a-kind shirts um just you know read the read the video description um below that's gonna have all the all the details um Again, thank you to Goodwin Graphics for doing such a great job printing. And what else? Oh, yeah. If, if, if anybody ever has t-shirts that, you know, they don't want, I have a lot of people that donate me shirts, especially local people. Just reach out. Let me know. You can make some fun one-of-a-kind shirts because shirts that you might not want, some other people really might want. And that's, that's why I like doing these one-of-a-kinds because you never know what somebody's favorite location is or favorite movie is favorite tv show favorite card game whatever but uh yeah thanks so much everybody have a great day have a great holiday season let's keep it safe 2021 is going to be a way better year i can sense it uh, on that note cheers we'll make